Good evening, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Modded Subnautica. Today, we will truly explore the horrors that this game has to offer, and we will delve deep into the darkness to see what lies within. But, 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 okay, hold on just a second. Before we get to that, I have some other cool stuff to show you. Ah, 4546B, beautiful and sunny as ever. Let's jump in. So, as per usual, everything looks exceedingly vanilla, except for the menu screen, I suppose. And we are indeed here in the Return of the Ancients mod. But before I show you what I want to show you, um, we're going to need to build a base. Alright, well, that should be good enough. Let's jump in. Okay, so here we are in this surprisingly spacious base. And I really want you guys to pay attention now because I am about to reveal what might just be the best thing since sliced bread. It is... The Swivel Chair. Okay, so the Swivel Chair itself isn't new, it has existed in the game before. However, what if I told you that there is more to the Swivel Chair than it appears to be? That's right, with this mod you can walk up to the Swivel Chair and... Yeah, that, that, that's it. <laughs> that's all. Well, you can you can spin the swivel chair. Um, you can even spin it when sitting on it. Oh my goodness! Play interstellar music. Uh, okay, that's actually making me nauseous. Anyway, if you thought that the swivel chair was underutilized before, well, now it can do that. Now let's just get out of here. I, I don't like that thing. Okay, so that was pretty cool. And of course, you know, it's a nice mod to add to your utilities. Let's be honest, nobody clicked on this video for the swivel chair. No, you clicked on this video to explore the horrors of the deep. And well, luckily for you, I am here to provide. And the first mod I want to look at is one that has technically been out for a little while. I just never got the chance to get my hands on it, but here I am getting my hands on it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the bloop. Um, the bloop is, is round. And, oh my god, okay. Whoa, that's, um, it, it's much less pleasant when you look it in the face. What on earth? Is it charging up a freaking mini nuke? What, what in tarnation? I was expecting, like, full-on Godzilla breath from that thing. This thing is the real stuff of nightmares. Four glowing yellow eyes? Um, not one, but two rows of, uh, needle-like, horrifyingly sharp teeth. I mean, this is probably the last thing you see after meeting that thing. But you know, overall, it just looks, looks to me like a blimp. So it's not as horrifying as some of the other stuff that we'll see in this mod. I uh, just wanted to give it a quick look, though. I, it still looks very nice. I mean, I could totally see this being a part of the original game. In fact, I could very easily see this being a uh, research specimen Theta. Just look at those arms. I mean, this could be like the adult version of that. Maybe the eyes don't exactly match up, but it still looks freaking awesome. Okay, so with our blimp just reversing out of here, um, the real reason I'm actually here today is to show you the new update to the Return of the Ancients mod. Yeah, that horrifying mod which adds the Gargantuan Leviathan. Now, the thing is, as per usual, I don't want to spoil everything that this thing has to offer, but one of the exciting things I was told about is a little thing called the Iron Knife, uh, which is apparently an upgrade to the survival knife. They have varying effects on the device's function, because you can fit different types of iron cubes into it. As you can see, you have the electric cube, the power cube, and the regular cube. So, boy, let's give it a try. Look at that, and it's completed with sound effects and animations, and it just looks amazing. This team is so incredibly talented, mad props to them. And here we go, look at that thing. Man, it's the Minecraft knife. Now the real question, what kind of effect is it going to have? Oh my god, look at that thing in the background. Alright, now Mr. Amp Eel, you're about to taste my Minecraft creeper knife. And, um, well, I mean... It, it didn't seem to have liked it, but it's not dead yet, which is mildly disappointing. Now let's try it on the bloop. It just keeps reversing for some reason. It's like, I know you're a good swimmer, but you don't have to show off, Jesus. Well, I mean, the knife works. It looks freaking okay. Um, it looks freaking awesome. But if I had to guess what it actually does, it probably simply does more damage than the regular knife. Now, additionally, you have the um, 
handheld warping device. Be cautious of the various side effects of teleportation. Including sudden death. Well, doesn't that just sound absolutely amazing? Oh my god, look at this freaking thing. What is this? Half-Life? It's charging up, oh boy. Whoa! That's so sick! So this is the mode for personal teleportation. Look at that, it's like the Warper technology. We have environment manipulation. Oh my god, look at that! I just teleported those plants already, that's so freaking cool! That was incredible! Okay, wh what's next? Creature summon. Uh... Wow, look, <laughs> it actually does, yeah. It just summons random creatures, it seems. I can already feel Savener preparing to abuse this to make the game faster. I can just I can just feel it in my bones. Additionally, we get a ton of custom decorations that can be placed anywhere you'd like. I mean, if you really want to pimp out your base and just like place something on the pedestal, like the knife, which is kind of clipping into it right now, but you know, you get the idea. I mean, you can basically transform your base at this point into a full-on precursor one. Oh my goodness, what is the what just happened to that poor Reaper? I just warped over here and that thing got obliterated in two seconds. Okay, hi, welcome. This is the <laughs> this is the juvenile uh, gargantuan leviathan. And it just annihilated that thing. Wait, I want to see that again. This is not going to be pleasant. Oh my god, that's so freaking violent. I love it. And of course, even the juvenile gargantuan just destroys the reaper in a single attack. My god, it's so epic. Alright, so the reason I'm going out into the void is not only to check out the Gargantuan Leviathan, but to check out the new 4K textures that have been applied to it. It should look much sharper now, and just much more epic in general. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my god, look at that thing. I mean, just so you get any idea for the sense of scale, this right here is Riley. No head, of course, but just how he rolls. And this... <laughs> it's the new gargantuan leviathan. Well, I mean, it, I think it's the same size, but has the new material on it. And my goodness, does that look incredible. Oh boy, it's it's going for the ghost. I, I get the idea that this is not going to be pleasant. Did it just eat the ghost in a single chunk? Like, just one bite and game over? Good lord, I mean... <laughs> Oh, that's intense. I mean, look at the detail on his body. You can really tell the new textures came in. I mean, obviously, you, you would never see this level of detail because you'd never be able to get this close to that thing while it is, you know, not moving. Even then, the amount of effort that has been put into this is just mind-boggling. A really good job, guys. This is incredible. Okay, there it is. The um, There's a bit of a size difference here, I, I think you could say. Well, the gargantuan seems to just be chilling. Maybe maybe it's had its share of food already. Oh, it, it ate my sea moth as well. It's like stuck in its teeth. It's just dragging my sea moth down. Yeah, that's uh, well, it's, it's an unpleasant sight for anybody uh, currently piloting that thing. Uh, that's not what I would want to see when I look out my window. I do still really want to see the gargantuan mess up the bloop. Whoa. Okay, I did not realize you made sounds. Now this is exactly what I was talking about. Look at this sight. What a shot. Let me let me know guys, has Subnautica modding gone too far? Is this is this more than we bargained for? Honestly, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments though. And in the meanwhile, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you're interested in catching up with the developers of these mods themselves, there is a link down in the description which will take you into the server where they and all of their fans are, so you can talk directly to them and get new information on the mod as soon as it is released. But with that, I'm gonna wish you all a bit of rest off today. If you enjoyed this video, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. All those would be very much appreciated. And with that, I'm gonna see you all in whatever next video I make. Bye bye.